So, gases or solids? Uh, Trevor, who has the most entropy? Uh, gases. Gases, particles bouncing around all over the place. Very good. Okay, solids, very ordered, low entropy. Entropy is degree of disorder, so gases have a lot of disorder. All right. Um, okay, real quick here in our notes, we're going to do this. Um, physical change. We talked about it a lot, now we're just going to write it down. Physical change. Leave uh, maybe like three spaces here, three lines, and then chemical change. Chemical change. All right, physical change, the composition stays the same. And any phase change is an, is an example. Any phase change. So, for example, freezing, boiling, uh, subliming. Dot, dot, dot. I'm not listing all of them. Condensation, evaporation, melting, uh, depositing, that the opposite is subliming, gas and solid. So any phase change is, uh, is physical, right? Also, uh, dissolving is a physical change. That's maybe put a little star there. That's important to remember, dissolving. And uh, I'm also going to put slash solubility. In other words, if it's soluble, soluble is the word, it'll dissolve. If it's insoluble, it will not. Um, and then I'm just going to put one more here. Measuring the density of something is also a physical change. These are just kind of somewhat, some of the terms here that is, are a little confusing. Dissolving and, and measuring density are both physical. Physical changes, um, not changing the composition. Chemical change. The composition changes. Composition changes. A uh, new substance formed. A couple examples of that. Uh, rusting, oxidation. These are terms you've heard of before. Those are chemical changes. Decomposition is another one. Right, so something rotting, breaking down. And then we could say dot, dot, dot. Any chemical change, any chemical reaction. There's a ton of chemical reactions. Combustion is another one, combustion. Um, and let's list evidence, right? So evidence of a chemical change. We've gone through it uh, a bunch of times now and on the homework. Go ahead, shout them out. What do we got? How do you know this is happening? Color change. Color change. What else? Fire. Fire or light. I'm running out of room down here, sorry. Fire, light, color change. What else? Gas produced. All right, I'm just going to move over here now. Gas produced. What else? And steam is kind of part of that. Steam is tricky, right? Steam is like boiling, but it depends, right? It depends. If you take water and heat it up, and it produces steam, that's physical. But you saw steam here, that was definitely chemical. Right? There's no water really, there's a little little bit of water on top of the sugar, but you have to sometimes know the situation to understand the steam part. So we'll just say gas. Odor change. Odor change is the key there, odor change. Okay, right now you guys all smell a certain way. If I say go run around the school 50 times, some of your odors might change, depending on whether you're wearing deodorant or not. Okay, so odor can change when you, when your when your body goes through a reaction. For example, sweating. What else? Heat yeah, heat or energy produced. So heat produced or absorbed. Heat produced or absorbed. <coughs> Color change. Fire light. Uh, gas produced. Odor change. Heater. He produced or absorbed one more, a solid formed. Solid formed. And in chemistry, the word for solid is called precipitate. Precipitate. It's kind of like precipitation is rain, snow, sleet, hail, whatever. Precipitate is a little different in chemistry. Um, oh, first day of school, I poured those two solutions. What color did it turn? Yellow. yellow. That yellow is called a precipitate. It was a solid. So that's, that's a good example to kind of give you a visual there. So solid form, evidence of a chemical change, all right? 
So that's your physical chemical stuff. We've gone through it a bunch. The lab, we talked about it. All right, moving on. Um, okay, I'm going to put uh, two particle diagrams on the board with the magnets. I want you to, to uh, draw them in your notes. So I'm going to use red and yellow just so it's easy for you to see. But I'm, in your notes, maybe make the red like uh, shade it in, fill it in, and then the yellow would be just open. So in other words, you're going to be doing this. So that's like the red one. And that's the yellow one. Okay. It's just, I like using the magnets. It's better to look at. It's easier to use, but you obviously can't use magnets. So that's the color um, color code there. All right. So I'm going to draw two uh, two particle diagrams. And what does that mean? Showing how atoms are arranged. And you are going to determine which one, number one and number two, I'll, I'll label them, is physical, which one's chemical. Which one's a physical change, which one's chemical change. Then we're going to go back. And I got a couple things to show you back there about uh, mixtures. All right, here we go. So we got number one, we got number two. Draw an arrow here in between the two boxes. All right, the boxes don't have to be the same size or perfect, just kind of sketching that there, okay? All right, uh, let's do this. All right, so give me a second here. This is an important concept here. So I'm going to draw the same thing in both boxes. Bo both boxes here on the left are going to have the same thing. And let's say, for the sake of argument, inside the box here, um, so red and yellow, let's say the red here, so the shaded in in your notes, let's say that's magnesium. And uh, let's say the, the yellow one is sulfur. So inside both boxes, we have what's called magnesium sulfide, MGS, right? So they're touching, um, that means they're, they're bonded, that's how we show that, chemical bondage, that's a compound. So we have magnesium sulfide, MGS in both boxes, okay? Uh, crap, I don't have enough magnets. I don't have enough magnets, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take these off. Sorry, we're only gonna have to we're only gonna have four each. I don't have enough. Sorry. Still works. Still, still exactly the same concept, but I don't I didn't have enough. Today. Sorry. So that that's how we're gonna start. Okay, same thing. Magnesium sulfide. All right, here we go. Bless you. Dude. So number one, number two, which one's physical, which one's chemical? In other words, which one's a physical change, which one's showing a physical change, which one is showing a chemical change? Before I forget, don't forget your quiz tomorrow. Quiz on the periodic table. I will be after school if you want to review for that. But again, I told you already kind of what it's on. The notes we took on the periodic table, um, not the names and the symbols, okay? Um, things like metallic character, ionization energy, electronegativity, we talked about those things this year. Uh, valence electrons, groups, periods, properties. Why certain elements have similar properties to others, but not, not, not the other. Why are some stable and some not? All those things we talked about. All right. Who thinks they know which one is which up here? 
Which one is, uh, go ahead, Mike. First one is chemical. Why? They look farther apart. Good. So then you're saying this is chemical, this is physical. Why is this physical? What's the difference between chemical and physical change? Chemical composition changes, right? So it's something new. And then physical composition doesn't change, but it changes form or maybe goes through a phase change, right? Okay. So you said this is physical because they're further apart. Or no, chemical. What did you say? That's chemical because they're further apart. And you said this is physical because why? These are still together, but these are not? That's what you're trying to tell me? No. These are still together? Try that again. Did I confuse you? So red and yellow are together, correct? Are they still together over here, red and yellow? Yeah. Yes, down here they're not together, though. right? Yeah. So fix your answer. Right. First one is physical. Why is it a physical change? Number one is physical, very good, why? Because it's still the same composition. Good, same composition, they stayed together. Very good, I apologize if I confuse you. So we started as, what does that look like? Solid, and we end as a liquid or gas, right? Phase change, physical. Here we're a solid. Here we're a solid compound. Two elements together as a compound. We rip those elements apart. Now we have Mg and S just kind of floating around by themselves. So we broke that compound up. We changed the composition. So if this is chemical, that would be called decomposition. When you rip something apart, break it down, that's called decomposition. So Good job, Mike, I'm glad you fixed it. So that would be physical because it's still the same compound, just spread out. This is chemical because you're ripping the, part, the elements apart. So again, it looks like this, MgS together, and then that produces Mg plus S, meaning the S and Mg are separate now. You have just magnesium and sulfur by itself. So this would be chemical for that reason. Questions on that? Come on back.